All of us here today stand on the shoulders of heroes like Mary W. Jackson, who broke down barriers for women and for people of color in engineering and science. Without their contributions, NASA would not be the leader in space and aviation that it is today. She was that mentor, um, that educator. She did influence a lot of people. There are a lot of individuals who went into the engineer department, who went into the mathematics department because of what she knew, because of what she taught, because of what she encouraged. And perhaps most famously, her work with other human computers, many of them black women, not only turned around the space race, but also galvanized imaginations around the world as to what we Americans can achieve. Because of engineers like Mary W. Jackson, America and the world was not only able to dream of landing, landing among the stars, but to make that dream a reality. There's no words that can explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm overwhelmed with, with joy and honor, and on the behalf of the Jackson family, my Uncle Raymond, Sister Kashanta, and Wanda and I would like to thank everyone that was involved in these projects. Her accomplishments underscore Alpha Kappa Alpha's commitment to education and encouraging young women to pursue careers in math, science, and engineering. This newly named facility will be a tangible way for them to see the contributions of Ms. Jackson and the women of the West Area Computing Unit that are no longer hidden.